Hi Chosen Few Expats, welcome back. And if you're new to our channel, thank you for joining us. My name is Alonzo, so y'all gotta be wondering, what's going on? Where have y'all been? Well, we're gonna tell you all about it in this video. So, welcome back everyone. Glad to have you all back on the channel. Glad to be able to finally put up some new content. So apologize for taking such a long time away, but there's a series of unfortunate events that took place, you know, that kind of played into this. Um, so basically, I've always heard people say that when you start doing a YouTube channel, other YouTubers, I've heard people say, oh, you know, you can get burned out, you can do this, you can do that. And I'm thinking, man, I'll never get burned out. That would never happen to me. Well, I, I'd still say it, I, I would still say it didn't happen to me. I don't think I got burned out. But it was just a series of things that just kind of happened. Um, basically starting off with me losing a hard drive. You know, I had a hard drive crash. That was a big super punch to the gut. Because um, even though I do back up stuff, it just kind of happened at a time where um, I had not backed up um, as much as I would have hoped. So, you know, things like some of like uh, the logos and certain clips and things like the very intro for this video. Um, kind of had to reproduce a lot of stuff. So that created a lot of work. You know, I had to basically redo a whole lot of things that had already been done. Um, so then we basically started having folks come visit. My mother-in-law and our aunt came to visit. So I had a great time with them. We'll show y'all some footage um, from their visit. But we had them here for 10 or 12 days. And then, you know, it's, it's basically like when you start off getting here, you kind of got to get the lay of the land. There's certain things you got to do, blocking and tackling. Stuff takes time. You know, you have to get settled in. You got to try to figure out, okay, how to get a driver's license because your driver's license is only good for 90 days. So you need an appointment at the U.S. Embassy, which is almost impossible to get for some reason. They say it's due to COVID, but um, it's almost impossible to get an appointment. Uh, so you have to do that in order to authenticate your license so that you can then get a driver's license in Panama. But you can't do that until your permanent residency is finalized. So, you know, you have to wait a few months for that. Um, so we were producing some content during those first few months. So we were able to document our progress with planning our move and then show you some things along the way, like um, how to ship a container to Panama, things like that. And then even show you um, the day that we traveled down here. It took some video. We put together a video of that to kind of show you that. But um, like I said, all of these things have to take place once you hit the ground. You know, you got to get the lay of the land. You know, if you're going to buy a car, which we did, you have to figure out, okay, how do I buy a car? How do I register the car? How do I get insurance, you know, for the car? So there's a lot of these basic things that you have to do. All this stuff takes time. And editing these videos uh, to get the product that you see does take a significant amount of time. Um, so, you know, for all of those things, you know, I kind of kind of took away. Then we wanted to start traveling ourselves to see different parts of the country, which we did. Uh, we went to El Valle. We showed you a little bit of that. We have some more footage uh, coming up from that. We took a trip to also to Cologne, uh, which is a city on the Caribbean coast. It's a primarily... Um, Black City, they have the free trade zone there. So um, we got some clips and everything from there and from our Portobello trip, uh, which we did show you in our um, video. We did a collaboration with Adventure Rich on touring the uh, fort in Portobello, if you want to check that out. Um, but we did have some other footage from Portobello and uh, we've made since made a return trip there. We also were able to go to Boquete, took a nice trip to Boquete. So we'll show you all some footage and some clips from that because we know there's a lot of interest in that area. And a very, very nice surprise when we went to that um, area in Chiriqui, we decided to go to Cerro Punta from Boquete, which is about an hour and 45 minutes. Cerro Punta is an area where something like 25% of the nation's crops are grown. Beautiful area. So we'll show you all some additional clips uh, from our trip there. We visited a horse farm and orchid um plantation and um saw a couple of great waterfalls so that was a, a a great trip so i recommend if you go to boquete to definitely take a side trip to Sarapunta. so of course we also went through david um 
on the way to Boquete. And then on the way back, we stopped at a couple of waterfalls and we also hit uh, one of which being the El Salto waterfall, um, which is a, an amazing waterfall. And uh, we also went to Playa Vanal, which is a surfing town, um, beautiful town on the beach on the Azura Peninsula. So we've been getting around um, a little bit. We took a trip to Bocas del Toro. Um, so we'll show you some clips and some upcoming videos on that um, just to give you all an idea of what's coming next. Uh, but the other thing that was a huge, huge punch to the gut is this. So, even after losing the hard drive, okay, it's like, okay, they couldn't recover it. You know, let's kind of get things going again. I'll try to go back off of my external hard drives and other things to recover what I can and redo some of this stuff to make doing these videos easier. But a second punch to the gut came uh, when this happened. So basically, in Panama, you have these individual air conditioning units. For, for the most part, you don't have central AC. So we have central a we have uh, individual AC units in each room. So what happens the one in our bedroom is next to my side of the bed, which is where I coincidentally keep my laptop. I kind of turn it up on its side, just lay it up right up against the side of the bed. Well, over the course of time, it, it, you know, at some points in time, you may get some slight condensation leaks from these AC units and it just so happened that the the one little area where the drop was coming down from the AC unit Just happened to hit my you know three-quarter inch wide laptop that's laying up on its side like right on the power port So basically fried the laptop. So that was a huge huge punch to the gut um, in terms of being able to uh, <laughs> You know put together these videos. So anyway, now we've got some new hardware um, We're settled in so now we should be able to be a lot more consistent with getting these videos out. So, um, you know, bear with us. Apologize for, you know, leaving you guys for a while. But um, we're still here, still here to help put the information out on uh, how to plan and make your move to Panama. Or this information could come in handy if you're going to other uh, international destinations as well. So um, with that, I want to thank you for all. Thank you all for uh, watching this video. Hope you all enjoy our content. Please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that you can be made aware of future videos.